Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. I'm Nye. And I'm Z. And we're, we're doing going. things. So, what do you think of the chances that I'm actually going to beat the King of Dust this time? Zero percent. Oh, that's not very nice. Let's see, I'm missing an encounter, apparently. We lost an encounter at some point. Huh. Wonder where that came from. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe that was the Captain's Woes. Or the Curse of Davy Jones. Yeah, but it's kind of where the Captain's Woes is being listed as new. Isn't that the... Didn't we do that one? Isn't that the one that leads into Davy Jones? Yeah, but now it's got another token, apparently, which is probably Davy Jones again. I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. So we're going to go for Food Wagon instead. Because just continuing to play with that seems like a terrible idea. Let's see. I'm just going to pull out the sword out of this, because I really... Do we have any other weapons? Anything? Because I'd really like to take, like, the sword and the mace out of here and replace them with weapons of some sort that actually do things, but we don't have enough of those. Okay. Get our ambush cards. Our tons of six of dust. Traveling such. Okay. Let the game do its thing. Come on, dealer. Deal faster. He's taking forever and a day to do this. And you're still unable to skip? Yep. Skip is not allowed right now. Must have something to do with the, you know, with the patch. Okay, first, Devil's Choice, okay? And my option is... Six of Dust, Six of Dust, Two of Skulls. Do I want to risk 12 of dust for a chance at 2 of skulls? Of course not. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. Okay. So the game is thinking. Okay, so we'll take the 6 of dust. I mean, I'm expecting to take damage here, but hopefully it won't be too much. Not nearly as much as if it was 12 of dust. That's true. Okay. Not nearly as much as if it was, like, six of dust and a lich. I don't know why, but for some reason it feels like I'm moving a little bit slower this time. Definitely getting a little bit of framiness today. Come on. Go away. Okay, well, ten damage. Not bad for the first, uh, first event. I'm actually going to heal that up by the time I move to the next area. So that's pretty good. We got three gain cards. We got an equipment. Forbidden armor. Provides excellent protection from harm, but renders the wearer immune to any healing effects. Mm. We will not be equipping that. It's also heavy, so it'll yeah. be slowing you down. I mean, it's a decent idea, but it's not something I'm going to want to use. Ambush. One of Lich. Six of dust. So you know that thing I just said would have sucked to fight? Yep. And we fight at the immediate next event. It's terrible. But well, we may be able to make this work. Okay, can I, can I get the jump strike so I can actually attack this bitch, please? I'd appreciate it. Now, it looks like the Lich's on-the-floor effect seems to affect the, um... It seems to affect the bandits as well. That's interesting. I already killed yeah. the Lich. She's already dead. Are you sure? She yes. hasn't just teleported away? No, she's dead. I just... I watched her do okay. her death animation. Yeah, she doesn't seem to have a lot of health, which is where her health-draining ability comes into play. But I guess if you kill her before she can use that, then I guess. she doesn't get to cause as much trouble. So you think you think she fortifies her own health? Is what you're saying? No, she doesn't fortify it. She just um, keeps restoring it by sacrificing the other enemies. Hmm. But, oh, that's what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. 
So by killing her first, you make it so she doesn't have that chance. Well, if you kill all the enemies that she could drain from, you eliminate that chance, but that also gives her tons of time to cause trouble. So I think focusing her is probably the best strategy, even if she can heal herself. Food wagon. Okay, what's our thing? Come across a broken down wagon laden with food. Its owner's nowhere in sight. Uh, call it an offer and offer to help. Some bandits attacked his car, hid in the trees. Please accept his food as thanks. He stands over some food. The merchant explains he is on his way to a distant trading post, and as a result of his troubles, his food delivery will be delayed. You gain a food card, and you gain the token. Okay. I'm thinking that's just a quest line thing, because I can't remember... I can't remember... It's, it's been a while since we last played, so I can't remember what the event was that led to Food Wagon. Yeah, I don't recall. May have been, like, Town Market or something. So there's the next thing should be the market that he was trying to get to. <clears throat> Treasure chest. Okay. Let's go take that one. Success. Okay, we're actually getting stuff out of the treasure chest this time. And not taking... Oh, treasure chest is a two-part event now. I didn't get that before. Okay, so first it's the hall you go through to get to it, and that's where the uh, that's what the um, that's where all the trap and nests that's the trap are. is, and, and then, then the you chest attempt... itself could be a, can turn can... into a mimic here. Right. Okay. That and makes more sense now. And then if it is a now. mimic, it can still kill you. Yeah. We got success though. I'm, I'm actually getting something out of this this time. As you approach the chest, growls attempts to bite you. You narrowly avoid losing a limb as its jaws snap shut. So it's a mimic, anyways. So you still have to deal with the Mimic, but you don't take pain damage now. Okay. It attempts to consume me. Now I've got a success, huge success, failure, huge failure. And we're going to go with that one. Oh, come on! Huge failure. Lose 10 health per curse. We lose 10 because uh, consumption, whatever it is. Lose 5 health. And lose 15 health. Eventually, the cruiser loses its form entirely and oozes down into a drain, and we gain nothing. Hooray! Treasure chest <sighs> is mean. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's worth it anymore. Because you have to successfully pass three different chances just to get anything. And if you don't get success in all three of them, you don't get anything. Well, actually, I think you can get something after the first two failures, but not much. Okay, let's go ahead and sell that forbidden armor. worth 60 apparently okay and we'll sell the axe as well okay uh, unholy ring occult ring ring of wizardry well we have a curse so I'm thinking that we might want to pick up the occult ring We definitely want to pick up the Inferno Potion. Have we had a chance to uh, try that out yet? Nope. I'm going to pick up the Occult Ring because we are cursed right now. Spend the rest of my money on food. Because we're still going to lose that money. But now I can use the Inferno Potion on the next fight and we're going to see what it does. Ambush! Would you look at that? Two monster cards, two of skulls, three of mages. Now, I was reading the forums, and something someone said is that if one mage is doing his line attack, the other two mages won't do anything at all. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, that could make it a little bit easier to deal with them. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. But still, you need to get around the lines themselves to get to the other mages. Okay, here's the... Okay, so there's the Inferno effect. It doesn't seem to be doing all that much, to be honest with you. Okay, you know what? We're going to go... Oh, never mind. It set that guy on fire. Everybody I touch is set immediately on fire. As you might expect. I mean, with such an effect. Okay. Okay, that guy's doing lines. So I'm already past the lines. Like, that's a thing. That skeleton's just gonna come shank you while you're dealing with the major force. Eh, he didn't get a chance to do much. 
Or is that a dust? I can't tell. That's a skeleton. Right, come on. The endless freaking block is just irritating as hell. Well, that guy's doing lines. I wish I could also be doing lines. Really? This is something you actually want? No. You know what I wish? I wish the uh, shield bash that you can do would deflect projectiles. That would be a decent way to handle that. Because then you're trying to get rid of... um. You're trying to get rid of his shield and your deflective projectile from the next guy, too. Because that's one of the... That. It's one of the most dangerous things about them, is that while you're taking out one of them, the other one just keeps on bashing you. Come on. There we go. Because we still ended up taking, like, probably 50 damage off of that, and almost all of that was mages. Okay, I do this. There's my success. Okay, so we gained three more gain cards. Drawn equipment. Time heals. Uh, I'm not going to use it. Gain ten health. Gain three food. So we're rolling in food right now. A merchant's favor. Okay, this is new. While bribes in the wares of trading posts, you are approached by the proprietor. You look like a trustworthy sort. I'm in debt to an acquaintance in Orangeshire. He has some... Oh, never mind. We've seen this before. Yeah. Okay, so we have to make sure that a hundred gold reaches this guy. Okay, it's just behind me. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Uh, I would prefer it if it if we went where I want you to go, please. Instead of wasting a bunch of food. And a step. Damn it! Yep, the key has took effect because I accidentally wasted a step. So I just lost 50, I lost 50 max health. Yikes. That's... wow. You're amazing at this night. Doesn't hey, really... look, it's your favorite thing. Yeah. I mean, doesn't really have anything to do with me. I didn't make Is that, that decision. Is that 50 health worth the plunderer's cap? Yes, actually. But, um... It had nothing to do with me. I thought the game would actually allow me to, uh... Choose my location just say, instead of just saying, Oh, your cursor was here. I mean, we also lost a lot of gold, or a lot of food, too. But yeah, what ended up happening is I pressed A to go back, and then apparently the cursor decided that the place I should be going to is always towards That's the exit. That's because the uh, cursor was up there. Yeah. I didn't think the cursor would go, oh, you should really be going to the place you already were. Running off with my weapon, how dare you. Okay, this works really well against goblins, apparently. The Inferno Potion, it's just, it's wrecking these goblins. Taking constant damage off of me. Unfortunately, we gained almost no gold off of that. Yeah, that could be a bad thing for dealing with goblins. Hi, Maiden. I would like lo more uh, longer life, please. Please. Do you have any max health gain cards? Five max health. Thank you. That that was worth it. Okay, old graveyard. Problem. I'm cursed. We take ten health damage and lose fifty percent health. I need to take that out of my deck. Bandit attack. Uh, that graveyard may have just killed me. Four of dust. You can survive. Yeah. If it was anything else, you might have been in trouble. Maybe a king, yeah, the king of dust, maybe? Well, no, we were facing the king of dust. We couldn't have gotten him. But yeah, I mean, that the fact that compensation counts as a curse is kind of ridiculous. And I haven't had any way to get rid of it yet. 
Okay. Let's do this. I do like the Inferno Potion. I really think the Inferno Potion is a really good item. That constant damage, that constant dot against people is really nice. Let's go to the right. Ambush. Hey, look. Buy another set of mages and a jack of skulls. This is probably going to kill me. Yep. Sorry, viewers. Nye is bad at this game. Uh-huh. Yeah, a misclick killed me. Yes, I'm bad at this game. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah, I'm, I'm mocking you and disagreeing with you at the same time. Okay, can we- I'd like to use the Inferno Potion, please. You go away. You go away. So it looks like that mage did do something while his buddy was doing that. Well, no. Once the, once the lines are cast, they're ca it's done. But while he's casting the lines, his buddies won't do anything, apparently. I'd really appreciate it if the Jack freaking died. I put him down multiple times. And he just keeps on raising his bones. So while I'm trying to not die here, the Jack just keeps on re-raising all of his friends. So I'm taking constant damage off the mages while just trying to get rid of the Jack of Bones here. Who I think just finally died, but I think I'm probably gonna die too. Oh come on, you should be so dead. Okay. That is really irritating. I mean, we we got a token. So what's this? Everybody hail to the Pumpkin King now. Got the King of... Re or got the King. Got the Ring of Return and the Trading Post. Blood stains ground beneath your corpse. Okay, we're going we're gonna to go one more time. I'm taking out the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, that one messed you up. I but not as much as messing up with the Geus. I, I think that's a thing that needs to be fixed in this. If you're moving in one direction, your cursor shouldn't auto go to the other direction. That does not seem like a thing that should happen. Uh, let's go do the demon trader. So if I remember correctly, that guy works with you only if you're cursed, and he um takes health to give you free stuff. And who knows? Maybe I'll actually be, get, be able to get rid of compensation this time. I, I'd like to show a success run at some point. Eventually. And we actually have traveling healers as the uh, as some of the shops in this. So there's actually a chance to get rid of the curse this time. Hooray! I may actually be able to keep my money. Yeah, I just realized. We didn't get a chance to use the plunderer's cap even once. <laughs> oh, charity. Okay. Here we go again. Let's get that token. Take some food. Take five food. Come on, give me my success. Show us what's in your sack, old man. Okay, so let's try this one. Failure. Okay, that's fine. He'll give me a blessing. Toxic blood. Any hit on the player during combat has a chance to poison the attacker. Not there's all that good. That. Oh, there's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's there's nothing wrong with it. It's not you know, it's a free blessing, but it's not um, 
I mean, it wasn't free, but but it's not good. Good. Cursed treasure. No. We're gonna leave the treasure. No. I'm not dealing with that right now. Treasure chest. <laughs> well, we're gonna approach it. We're gonna try this. Failure. Suddenly hear a click. It's a gas trap. Now oh, this could be bad. There's success. Okay, so I took no damage from the gas trap. Of course, the treasure chest. Attempt to pry it open. <sighs> Failure. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not, I'm not allowed, I'm not allowed to do anything in this, apparently. I'm, I'm just gonna fail every time I try to do something. Okay, the tavern. New event. Also, I should note, note that I only have one food right now. In a tavern, you meet a ship's captain. Parts taken over my ship and the drunken wench. Help me reclaim her and I'll share whatever treasure remains in her hold. Sure. Success, success, huge success, failure. Success. Okay. When you reach the pier, you discover the drunken wench abandoned. At least uh, this guy has his, you know, we got one gain card. The, all the treasure's gone, so we just gained 10 health. So I just gained back what I lost. Still no token. So we've already touched two token cards so far in this run, and I haven't been able to uh, get anything from either one of them. So I'm completely without food right now. The lizard dome. Hooray. Yep. Well, maybe you'll get another token before you die. Okay, we're going to fight the three wow. of dust. <laughs> that is a no-brainer. Well, the other cool thing is, if, I, if I'm if i correct about how the game works, that means that the Jack of Plague and the three of Mages are actually completely removed from the, the monster deck until it has to reshuffle. So as a set of Mages, I just don't have to fight ever. I mean, that's really good news. Okay. So that's those guys dead. Now, let me have my reward. I get three gain cards. One equipment. A cult ring. So we're going to inflict at least two more damage because we have curses. Gain a food. Gain some gold. Now the question is, do I want to turn back around and go do it again? Yes. Just looking for that success card. Okay, so it's not that one. This one right here is not the glowing one? I believe it is not. It's the one on the far right. Okay. Oh, come on! Ah... <sighs> This game just loves you. It's trolling the hell out of me. Seriously, six mages? Six mages. And I have nothing I have nothing to mess with them with. And the problem is you have to uh the combo you have to do, you have to do a um you have to do a shield bash, attack, another shield bash to get their block down, and then attack them again. Okay, see how none of his friends did anything while he was casting? Yes. So that's what I, that's what I meant by how that works. None of his friends did anything while he was casting, but as soon as he stopped casting, that's when they started doing stuff again. Okay, come on, get back up, get back up. Now, if, if I can keep this up and just keep, like, blocking one into a corner, separating him from his friends, and then beat him to death... Yeah, that'll work pretty well if you can keep managing that. It's good that they're all clumping up on the bridge. Yeah, because that means I actually have a chance at this. Uh, 
Come on. Now, there is another problem with the way the attacks are going. There's an occasion where a basic attack will turn into a shield bash for reasons I can't understand. Uh, are you sure it's not? Like, that's the wrong button? I'm pretty sure. Because it's... I can't figure out exactly what this, the reason is, but it's the same situation every time that causes it. Or it'll be a shield bash turns into a basic attack for no reason. Okay. See? Just like that. That was supposed to be a shield bash, so I was pressing the B button. But the game thought I was still comboing, so it did a basic attack instead. I see. So I'll just stand over here for a few seconds while I wait for this to go away. There we go. Last guy. I actually did not take all that much damage. You also complained way uh, less than you usually do. It's because it was an actual situation I could deal with. It might be that mages and mages is a lot easier to deal with than mages and anything else. Because they only attack you basically one at a time. And there goes your tokens. I still didn't get the uh, huge success on that. Three of dust, six of dust, four of dust. Well, it's basically the same thing anyways. I think I'm going to go for the four. Fuck it, I'll just go for the six. He'll let me live with my choice. God, I wonder if that's 50-50 or if it's, um, if he's more likely to either allow you to live with the choice or pick the other ones. It seems like he's more likely to allow me to live with it. It's, I, I want to say it's 25-75 based on how it's, like, how it's actually happened so far, which would make sense. Or might be one th one third and two thirds, which would also make sense. Would you stop backing up, please? Pray, pray, please. With sugar on top. Thank you. Don't do that. Okay. So hopefully I'll be able to get some food off the rewards for this. Three gain cards, got a piece of equipment, ring of wizardry, uh, 15 gold, draw five, inspect and put back, traveling tinkers right there, stairs right there, helpful priest right there. So, still no food though. You could sell that ring, I don't see you getting a whole lot of use out of that. Yeah. So this guy gave me one gold. Now we're definitely going to sell, uh, actually probably... I got the Ring of Occult on this run, right? That was the last run, I was think. It? The thing is, if I can get myself an artifact, the Ring of Wizardry suddenly becomes very, very good. Let's see what this guy has. Fate's Folly. Consuming Shame. Rat Cleaver. I really want that. And Mortal Whimsy. I really want the Rat Cleaver if I can get it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to sell... I did get the Occult Ring on this one. Huh. Hmm. I definitely want to sell the Ring of Wizardry, though. Um, Probably the Occult Ring, too, honestly. Yeah. And if you're going to buy the Rat Cleaver, sell the Axe. Yeah. That should give me enough to buy the Rat Cleaver and get food at the same time. Yes, I would Such like... Such a good weapon. It is a really good weapon. Of course it would be. <laughs> and five food, so you're not going to starve again. For a while, I hope. Next level. And hopefully we can actually get back some of our health. Okay. The lovers. Gotta take my free blessing. Uh, or not, never mind. It was a draw one card per blessing that gave me a map. Goblins in the upper right, cave shelter to the right, summoned is up top. Okay. 
Hmm. Damn! I have never gotten success on that. What a shame. And and the, the quote-unquote blessing we got was really terrible. There's a six of dust. Thankfully, it's a pretty large map, so we're not, like, tied in or anything. I really would like to see the success on that so I can remove it from the deck. You know, the difficulty's really ramped up since last time. I remember you didn't have much trouble dealing with the King of Dust before. I think one of the reasons why is that prior to the big update, um... You got not only did the were the challenges not existing, like you didn't have to deal with that, but there was also the fact that you were getting like stat upda upgrades every single um every single boss you beat, as opposed to every three bosses. So that helps, and then we've also unlocked several boss cards like liches, so that's helped as well. Okay, here's cave rescue. So we got a six of oh, we got twelve dust. Let's parlay. Release the girl. Okay, let's let's hope here. Failure. Okay. <laughs> they do not look impressed. So I have to fight twelve of them. But you can do it. I think so. They're bandits without like a leader card, so they don't have any special abilities. So I think we're gonna take damage, certainly. But I don't think it's gonna be particularly bad. I anticipate probably the most damage we're gonna take is probably gonna be from the range attacks. So far, that's pretty well borne out. Once you get a couple of attacks in, it starts to be possible to just... There we go. Someone actually hit me now. Uh, once you get a couple of attacks in, it's easy to kind of spread them out so you don't get hit as much because you're jumping back and forth from enemy to enemy. You're still taking some pretty... pretty considerate, considerable damage. I think I've taken like 13 to 15 damage so far off of 12 enemies. Took a little bit more. As I said, it's the range attacks that have been getting me. Like always. Mm -hmm. Well, most of the range attacks in the game are pretty weak. Three gain cards. Drawn equipment. Scavenger's cap, I'll take it. Gain five max health. Gain 25 gold. Okay. With your amount of food, the scavenger's cap may save your life. Potentially. Traveling healer. Well, everything about that is just great. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it is. I agree with you. Now, can they get rid of compensation? That's a question. I believe the healer is the one who can. Yep. So they could remove the curse. Okay, here's Where the question. they could heal you. Or it's kind of me. late in the run. Yeah. We're going to just do, go for the health. And I think we're also going to buy food. Because the scavenger's cap does work that way. Which is an effect I really like, actually. I agree. Okay. What's over here? Ambush. We're still not quite sure where the stairs are. Three of mages, three of mages. Got, uh, again? Well, maybe you can deal with it just like last time. Oh, but no, this arena... No, not on this arena. I'm just, I, I didn't think there were this many mage cards in the deck. <laughs> but you do have the Rat Cleaver. I do have the Rat Cleaver. So, the problem is the Rat Cleaver is not the one that, um... Oh, that is amazing. That may make things easier. Wait, does the Rat Cleaver go yes, through blocks? Oh, I forgot about that. That is why I was excited. I thought you were excited about the chance I'd probably die. Well, there is also that. But also, I just love seeing mages fall left and right. Yeah. Well, I thought that it was going to be a good thing because of that the... That was absolutely trivial. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a good, good thing because of the force blast. You know? Because you can stun them. 
Come on, failure. Oh, please, no. I do not want to take pain damage. I I'd like to get some rewards every once in a while. Drawn equipment. Consuming shame. Okay. Three gold. Ten gold. It's nothing amazing. Stairs. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna go. What do we got here? This could be the end. Very well could be. Another ambush. Come on, Lich. Two of skulls, six of plague. So, basically the exact people who this weapon loves. Skeletons who like to block, and rats who get slain. That was very intelligent of you, guy. Yep. Well, at least it's not like the Rat Slayer from Fallout Vegas. Whoa, the game is lagging a little bit. The game is lagging a lot. You should uh, stop downloading those uh, CD videos in the background. Hey, what I do with my horticulture videos is none of your damn business, and I'll thank you to keep it out of your conversation. Uh. Trivial. Okay. This may be the best weapon in the game so far. I I think crushing. Uh, what is it? The crushing desperation. Whatever it is. I think that's or the best weapon. Potentially the um icy weapon you get for that one quest with the Gs. You mean the one that I never get to keep? Yes. Yeah, that one. That one's really powerful too. Yeah. Drawn equipment, armor of cold. Please and thank you. Five food. Armor of cold is certainly a bonus. Ten gold. This might be the run to actually kill the king. Merchant's favor. Accept the offer. Okay, where don't, is uh, it? Don't go the wrong way. Return policy is upright. Okay. Traveling mage. You have just enough steps. Yep. Okay, what do you have that I want? Cause I, I could totally... I could get rid of... Um, <laughs> I could get rid of the medium armor, and I could also get rid of the Well, you chain. have armor of cold, so yes, you yeah. can easily get rid of the armor. Okay, let's go ahead and sell the Consuming Shame. Yeah, let's sell that. I don't really like that. Sell the armor. The medium armor. You could sell the Scavenger's Cap at this point, too. Not unless I have something to replace it with. Let's see. No. I think we should just grab the hags wraps. Certainly get the hags wraps. Maybe the shield? Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. The thing that I'm concerned about is I don't want to accidentally lose money from uh, engagements and not be able to pay off the debt. That's That's the only thing I'm concerned about right now. But that was a pretty good shot. Okay, next is Royal Treasury. This is new. Potentially deadly. You could just leave in if you're In the depths worried. of the deepest cave in the remote wilderness, you tumble on the old king's treasure chamber. It is guarded by traps, but likely contains vast wealth. Now, do you want to try for the token here, or are you invested in defeating the king? Because uh, this seems like something that could dish out a lot yeah, of pain Yeah, we're going to leave it here, because I've had so many... We've had so many runs that we have failed for going for tokens lately. We're going to go and actually try to get this done. Traveling Jeweler. I'm just going to pass that shop by. What a shame. Yeah. Let's go up. Return policy. Here's your 100 gold. Now give me something. Okay, waiting for the game to catch up to me. Okay. Hold a piece of gear. Uh, Mask of Extortion is a pretty good choice here. In fact, it's the only choice here. That I can use to replace Wait. the Scavenger's Cat. Okay, now let's actually look at this shop real quick. There's very little when it comes to equipment that I think that we actually need to be uh, concerned with at this point. But, um, 
you know, we could potentially find something. What do you have? Inferno Potion, Time Heals, Unholy Ring. Um, if we can afford the Inferno Potion, I'd love to do so. How much will the, uh, Scavenger's Cap sell for? Enough. Okay. Let's buy the Inferno Potion. I, lo I love the, the dealer. You think that will help you? Well, yes, actually. We do, in fact, think that will help. Especially because there's the king, the king of dust. And with 90 health, an armor of cold, the rat cleaver, an inferno uh, I think potion. You, uh, you probably have this. I think this may actually be the run where we kill the king. So now we can get rid of the stupid ambushes and the stupid sixes of dust. Until whatever comes next. I mean... And we just suit up real quick. Don't worry, Kingy. We're coming. Okay, time for Inferno mode. I don't care about any of you. I'm just going after the king. God, all of the all of the special effects going on right now are completely trashing the frame rate. Because it's got the hag wraps effect, it's got the armor of cold effect, it has the uh, uh, inferno potion effect. There's a dust storm. Got him. That's a win. And the viewers are letting out a collective finally. Yeah. It's taken a while. Okay. So we have won. Give me my stuff. What do we get? Well, we get that token. Which gives us Innocence, the Eye of the Storm, finally, Crushing Grips, Helm of Reflection, Feathered Ice, with apparently with placeholder art, the Jack of Scales, and Old Graveyard again. You could totally go for another Old Graveyard, totally. couldn't you? <laughs> Completely. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye!